Hello everybody, so today I have an Asian haul. Um, we do have an Asian market where I live, and we have a Vietnamese store, and I would love to go there sometime because I haven't been there yet, and I'm very anxious to check out what they have. But this haul is kind of inspired by Mommy Tang. Like, she always, always, always eats vegan um, Asian foods, and I was very interested in some of the things that she had made, and I was checking out the Asian store, and I've been there a few times, and I never seemed to be able to get enough of that store, but um, I did pick up some things that she has eaten or always eats on her channel, and one thing is kimchi, and I could not find the vegan kimchi because they did not have any, but I did buy the regular kimchi, which is here. And this is basically fermented cabbage, um, spicy cabbage, and it has a load of other ingredients in it and spices. And Mommy Tang eats it with her noodles and rice. And that's probably what I'm going to do as well, but I'm very excited. This was, I think it was around $5.00. It wasn't that bad of a price. They had a really big jar there, but since it's me mainly eating my Asian food, <laughs> I basically just got it for me. But that is it right there. And it's very cold. I just got it out of the refrigerator. I have not yet opened it, but probably will soon. And then, I had to get me a rice bowl because... I have an Asian bowl, but it's basically for my noodles, and I wanted a really nice, sturdy rice bowl. This is a pretty good size. It was super cute. I think it's super cute. And I added it to my collection of Asian um, wear, but it's a rice bowl. It's very pretty. Pretty basic. I think it was like $3 or so. And... Um, also in a lot of, um, Asian YouTube videos, um, I see them eat, like, over rice, over rice as in, like, they have noodles or something that they're eating and they actually, um, eat it over the rice bowl itself because the juices and everything goes into the rice and it's super good. I love it. So, I will be using this very soon. Maybe I will make a lunch video and show you what I do for my lunch today. And then I found, well, I didn't find, but I bought these. They're kimchi flavored noodles. I don't believe these are ve vegan. I don't think they're vegan. Nope, not vegan. They're not vegetarian either, technically. But there's no actual meat in them, just meat based pro or you know, animal based products, which is not good at all. But I like to try everything once and see what I like. So I don't really eat meat. But there are, you know, that in there. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see. You know, sometimes I don't feel as bad when there's, like, just um, broth and stuff products. But the fact that it still uses animal products bothers me still. But I think it's a bit better than eating a slab of meat in your face. Um, and then, and then, and then, I found Mommy Tang's vegan veggie noodle soup ramen that she eats all the time. And I had to try them out because if I love them, then I will probably buy these a lot. But 
their gourmet mild veggie noodle soup ramen and I'm pretty excited about it definitely different than the ones I just showed you you can see there's um, ginger and garlic and now there's a lot of things in there that probably aren't still good for you like sodium and salt sodium and salt are the same and I don't know I always say that the more product that you can read the better it is because and less product that's in it so the shorter the better because you know the product that's in it and there's no chemicals and such but one thing that Mommy Tang did not say is that it's manufactured in a facility that also processes egg, milk, fish, and crustacean shellfish. So there may or may not be traces of it in here. So, yep. So much for being it completely vegan. It probably is 99%, but, you know, sometimes product gets into other product and sometimes you can't help it depending on machinery and stuff that processes everything but if they say vegan they're pretty much probably vegan so and then I got these golden mushrooms these kind of things you can't find in like the stores like regular grocery department stores the brand is Dragonfly. I'm really interested in these. Putting them in my noodles. So, yeah. Let's see, what does it say? It doesn't say anything but the nutritional value. It's so cool because, you know, it's not every day that a normal well a normal person goes into an Asian store or anything like that and brings home <laughs> um, items with another language on it but it's pretty awesome to look at so I will probably do a meal my meal lunch or my lunch with these it's really cool dragonfly I'm very interested, or I'm probably going to go back to the store sometime soon and uh, get some other new things. But this, it's all extra noodles. I did get some Thai drink there that was so good. It was like a Thai tea, but it tastes like chai tea, but it was like red, like a sandy red color. It tasted so good. I'll have to get another one and show you. But yeah, that is my Asian haul. So I just wanted to share. Look how pretty that is. Like, so gorgeous. And the other bowl that I got, this, the paint or this print doesn't wash off or anything. It doesn't fade. So it's pretty awesome. I love it. It's so pretty. And I did order some chopsticks in the mail that are stainless steel. So. They will last me a while, which I'm excited about because they have the smaller ending and it's not so big. I went back to the Asian store that I got these products from to look at the chopsticks and they still only had the plastic ones <clears throat> that had the fatter end on them. And then they had the wooden ones that you buy at Chinese takeout places, but I, I don't mind the wooden ones chopsticks because they, because they're... Um, to me, they kind of soak up the flavor of whatever you're eating, so that's kind of a cool aspect of a wooden chopstick, and then, um, but I just don't like to, you know, waste things, so I pro I, that's why I got some chopsticks that I could reuse, and they're coming from all the way from, like, China and Japan so I know they're authentic you that's the best feeling ever is to know that you're getting something 
that's authentic, especially when you really, really enjoy the culture and what they have. So, that's it for my Asian haul. I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like the video, please subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.